rabbit with a waistcoat and a what? Oh, my fur and whiskers. I'm late, I'm late, I'm late. Now, this is curious. What could a rabbit possibly be late for? Please, sir. I'm late, I'm late for a very important date. No time to say hello, goodbye. I'm late, I'm late, I'm late. It must be awfully important, like a party or something. Mr. Rabbit, wait! No, 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 I'm overdue. I'm really in a stew. No time to say goodbye. Hello, I'm late, I'm late, I'm late. My, what a peculiar place to have a party. Oh. You know, Dinah, we really shouldn't <coughs> be doing this. After all, we haven't been invited. And curiosity often leads to trouble. Oh, 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 oh. Hi diddly ho everybody, this is Sean Evans, I am one half of the Cabin Fever duo, the other half is El Matt Whitney. You can find me at Sean Evans Photo, that's S-E-A-N-E-V-A-N-S-P-H-O-T-O, -E -E and you can find Matt Whitney at PacMat or PacMatatatTat, -tat. and you can find Cabin Fever Podcast on all your podcasting platforms. So just type us in and you will find us. So please like, subscribe, heart, do all those amazing things. We greatly appreciate it. We want to keep the podcast moving forward and growing. And on today's podcast, I follow the white rabbit all the way up to San Bernardino to Beyond Wonderland. Two nights of EDM bliss. It was an epic adventure. So please sit back, relax, and enjoy today's episode. I really hope mariachi music or something kicks in. Like, really get the full effect of Fiesta Island. Yeah, we got some, like, ghetto boys over here. They got their Megan, American flag yeah, truck action gun. And... Did you see when you take this bend how many cars were over there? They were having, like, a fishing tournament or something. Oh, uh, yes. A yeah. bunch of people. I'm, I'm always curious, like, what they're trying to catch. I have yet to see anyone pull a fish in when I drive by, but I'm, I'm sure there's something they're catching out there. It's the three-eyed fish. Oh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it's that old Fiesta Island uh, Loch Ness. Oh, uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. Oh, the Cabin Fever Podcast. Oh, good ahead. googly moogly. We're back, back on the uh, the old Fiesta Island. It's, it has been a while. Too long. I think was our last cast Jason. Yeah, Jason Hypes. Yeah. Uh, who briefly we could go in. Yeah, it, just it, real briefly. Yeah. If you're, if you're following along, I know. The last one you just listened to. Such an up and down journey. We're at the uh, we're at the end of uh, we're at the, tomorrow. It's today. Today's the last day of March. Mm -hmm. Um, and Jason was supposed to depart actually Monday of this week. Yeah. He right after that episode, um, unfortunately woke up to a an ankle injury. Um, I was not able to diagnose the exact cause, but it was fully swollen and inflamed and set back his journey a little bit. Um, but as of today, I saw him this morning, actually. I went and helped him move the last bit of st uh, big stuff out of his apartment. Nice. He's on schedule to be out of his apartment, you know, basically by today because he has, Perfect. To, has to be. Yeah. He'll be departing up to, driving to Seattle to leave his stuff, and he plans on starting the trail um, not this Monday, but the next Monday. Okay. So I think that's the 8th of April. Yeah, that sounds about right, yeah. Um, and his ankle is doing much better. He, he's been staying off of it, not putting, he, he was putting it through a ton of stress. Run, he's an active runner. Yep. And he's been hiking and working and blah, blah, blah. He's, he, he thought it was like a just culmination of all that kind of stuff that kind of sidelined him. So he's doing much better now. So on this moving day, I picture Jason with his feet on feet up and <laughs> kind of just uh, Matt can no no lower yeah yeah bring it bring no, it this he, way. He's not my friend Nick. Oh, <laughs> when Nick and I moved in together 
showed up on crutches. Like, all, right. <laughs> all the door with these crutches. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> and employed me and his other friend to, to get everything in. Take care of business, yeah. You know, yeah. Jason is, you know, he's very military. Oh, yeah. And uh, actually, I've helped him move at least, I think I've been down there two or three days now to help him yeah. move stuff out. And he's the most organized person I've ever met. Oh, yeah, very efficient. So, yeah, every time it's been like a breeze. Right. We've ended up just helping him for like not even an hour maybe and then going to get beers afterwards. Perfect. That's the way to move. That's how it needs to be done, everybody. You know, plenty of time. Yeah. You do a little bit. Just just the minimum. Just the minimum. Then it's beer time or some pizza or something. Yeah, exactly. That's the way to do it. So we'll be, uh, you know, updating uh, on Jason's journey. But yeah, I hope, hope you know. Fingers crossed that it goes. Well. Oh yeah, me too. I was, yeah. I was so bummed to get it that text from him. I'm just like, sad. what? Yeah. No. Yeah. What does this mean? Like, and he made yeah. he was it made it sound very serious. Like, he's like, I may or may not get my my go on on this right. round of the trail type of thing. I'm like, no, holy shit! Just because he didn't know the severity of his ankle injury. Yeah, and that, you know, I thought the same thing. I was like, well, of course, you know, do what you got to do. But then when I put himself myself in his shoes it's like he quit his job he already put in his notice at his apartment like everything was lined up and yeah no one could have anticipated an injury pre-hire exactly and without ex- an exact cause too you know right but yeah i you know i felt the sting my my or as i said my stomach dropped when i read it because i was like oh my god absolutely and plus we had just talked to him oh yeah yeah, yeah. oh well i'm glad he's back on track i'm real yeah. oh my gosh yeah, I was trying so to go, stuck here. he was definitely, I could tell there was some anxiety. I mean, who, who, oh, how could there not be? Absolutely, you know? yeah. Plus, he's just leaving an apartment that we talked about that he's been in a long time. Yeah. You know, so, that's, moving's never easy on Oh, own. never, ever easy. So, uh, but no, saw him this morning. Uh, ankle said was feeling good. So, I think he was feeling positive that the whole moving situation was about fixed, so about to get wrapped up. And Perfect. Then, and going to go from there. So, more power to him. It's good to hear. Yeah. That's what I like he to hear. Found a home for his cat, so oh, right. he did good. Yeah. Good. Yeah. It's so it's tricky. It's been a while since we. Yeah, buddy, it has. I'm here with Sean. We're on Party Island. Yeah. It's good to be here. Pa 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 Party Island. Last time I saw Sean, he was about to take off to Beyond Wonderland. To the magical lands of San Bernardino. <laughs> No, uh, yeah, so uh, <laughs> I ventured up to San Bernardino to the NAS Event Center, which is uh, where Insomniac holds a bunch of events. They do a uh, countdown, uh, of course, Beyond Wonderland, uh, a Halloween event that is escaping my mind. I think it's called Escape, actually. Right. <laughs> yeah, I think it's called yeah. Escape. Okay, so and then <laughs> maybe one or two other events that they yeah. do there, and I'm sure they do other shit there besides just uh, throwing big old raves and things like that. Yeah, a lot of concerts. Yeah, a lot of concerts and things like that. And uh, so, yeah, it's my first time going up to this venue. And uh, so I left. uh, uh, It was a Friday-Saturday event, so I left Friday uh, morning. Uh, Right after I did a photo shoot, I wanted to get up there with plenty of time. I just wanted to be able to park, you know, have have a good parking spot, be established. You know, I got the van, so I want to take all that into consideration when it comes to, you know, being able to even just park and maneuver, you know, and when there's a bunch of crazy, you know, thousands of people going to an event like like Beyond Wonderland. So yeah, the drive up there wasn't too bad. Traffic was pretty relatively light for like Friday. Yeah. And I did leave it at a pretty good time. So make it up to Beyond Wonderland. Get in there, park. First time really up in San Bernardino, really, and except yeah. for maybe just passing through to somewhere else. But kind of in the middle of nowhere. It really is, yeah. yeah. Um, so yeah, get up there, park, find a good parking spot. Get get up there actually relatively early. So I get up there probably maybe around like two o'clock, and oh. the doors don't open until five or so. So I've got plenty of time, just kind of pregame. I put my headphones on once I park. I start just kind of hanging out, trying to figure out like, what am I going to wear tonight? I've got, I had this sweet ass, like neon green dare shirt. And uh, so I, I wore that. And um, of course I have my camelback all set up, good to go. And it's nice to have, like to attend event with a camelback. It's just so much nicer. Just fill up with a bunch of water, not even have to worry about it. Especially when you're planning on doing some EDM vitamins, you want to be well hydrated. You want to be, right. you know, feeling comfortable. comfortable. You know, yeah, basically just comfortable. How far? Sorry. How? Yeah. How, where did you park? In yeah. So to we're, in relation to the venue, it's really not that far of a walk. I was luckily they did have different um, 
uh, parking lots. So that's why I wanted to kind of get there early to get to yeah. the closest free parking possible. Because they had a couple of uh, – they have – uh, like a, a baseball stadium area, which I never even went up to, but you'd have to take a shuttle from there or have a, a bit of a trek to get, you know, a couple of blocks walk to get down to the actual venue. Okay. And they had like a, a couple other little smaller free parking areas that I guess would be just like flow over for when the bigger lots filled up. So I was able to like get a good spot in the closer parking lot. So it really was like n- not that far of a walk, really. And you were able to... S- to- they park there overnight? No, no overnight oh, parking. Okay. So, okay. yeah, once uh, once the venue was over, I just kind of – so, uh, yeah, I'll get to that okay, one. Okay, no, and okay. And then um, – and then so, yeah, I get to the event um, in immediately – all right, so I do a little pregame. I, I did a little uh, – I um, uh, did some vodka and Red Bulls. And okay. The only reason I do, do stuff like that is because they say it's the closest thing to doing cocaine. I don't really feel like doing cocaine, but I'll do some vodka and Red Bulls just to kind of – yeah. You know, get me going, you know, it's, uh, I'm going in by myself, it's my first time going to like a solo event like this, so I'm like, you know, just kind of like cut the nerves yeah, a little take bit, the take the edge off a little bit. It wasn't that much alcohol, and I wasn't planning on doing any EDM vitamins till later in the night once the alcohol even wore off anyway, so uh-huh. I just wanted just enough just to get me in there and have a, like a, a good time. So immediately, once I start walking up, and then I start seeing people dressed up in the rave gear, I start seeing totems, I'm like, okay. oh my god, yes, I can't, uh-huh. I, and I, I'm like, I didn't realize how much I missed totems and the uh-huh. whole, like, that whole rave culture. I start seeing people wear it with, uh, with the candy on, and, you know, I just start seeing more of the, the stuff that I love so much about EDC right. and just start feeling that, the good vibes and everything. Cool. After kind of mildly stressing about trying to get there and everything. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. it's just unneeded stress that I didn't really need to inflict to myself, but it was just my first time going out there, so whatever. But, so, yeah, once I start walking in, uh, security was a breeze, very easy. Cool. Um, they did have um, uh, metal detectors, but that wasn't a problem. I made a little uh, pouch in my um, in my Camelback to put my vape pen, so it didn't even matter. Like, yeah, I didn't have to worry about. Even though you can technically bring vape pens in, but my vape pen was filled of sweet, sweet sativa, so. Uh-huh. I didn't want to so chance it. Pick up because it well, I, yeah, because I, you put the camel back down. They right. o- you, they open it up. They search it. They look through it. Look through all the pockets or whatever. Make sure the uh, camel back is actually empty and everything. Right. And then they just slide it along on the on okay. the table, and then you walk through. And I didn't have anything metal except for my belt buckle okay. when I was walking in. So that worked out nicely. Yeah. And then of course I have my rave underwear. Nice. Got to have that secret pocket to yeah. uh, get gum, chapstick. EDM vitamins or whatever else you want to get into the venue. Right. It's not metal, you know, going through the metal detector because oh, that no, would suck. No steel cup. Yeah, no steel cup or anything like that. Yeah. Flask. <laughs> yeah. Crush flask. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Um, I still gotta get some of these. Oh, definitely. De- I highly recommend it. Um, I think iHeart Raves has a version of rave underwear. You can go on. I think I got mine off of Amazon. Okay. Something like that, but. They're comfortable. They're cheap. They're just bro- boxer briefs with the built-in. If you don't know, they're just a, they just have like a, a really big built-in pocket that's kind of discreetly hidden, so you can sneak in whatever you want, basically. Right. Okay. Yeah, it's not dangerous. Uh, no. Yeah. <laughs> no. Some some dick bomb in there. Awesome. So yeah, I make it in, and then of course it's still it's like five o'clock, so the sun's still out. And then I start walking around, and what's pretty neat, once you walk in in the entrance, it's just like a big pond area, and it's all – they have these things in the middle with flames are going off, and just you start to, like, immerse yourself into the wonderment of Beyond Wonderland. And they have, like, people dressed up in costume, and then, of course, all the all, – you know, every, all the attendees, all the headliners, right. um, you know, everyone else is dressed up and – the excitement starts to build, and then, of course, I'm by myself, so it's still, I still, I'm okay with going by myself. I would have preferred to have people there with me, but as I progress through the weekend, I'm like, oh my God, I had such a good time by myself. It was like such uh-huh. a unique, fun experience for me, um, especially being an introvert and just being, you know, just being a guy, you know, out on, on out on my own. I'm, you know, no one's holding me back really, or you know, you know, like I don't have a girlfriend or anything like that. Not like a girlfriend would hold me back, but you know, I was just like, I just have right. free reign. Like I, wherever I wanted to go, I could go. Right. If I wanted to peace out at this stage, I can peace out and not have to worry about like, 
you know, hey, are you coming with me? Are you staying? Right. Do you want to meet at this time somewhere here? I'm just, I'm off to the races type of thing. And I, hey, luckily I had the schedule, so I had all all of it planned out, like where I wanted to be, what DJs I wanted to see, yeah. what, you know. And luckily there was no, pretty much only two main stages. There's the Mad Hatter stage, which more was more of like a dovestep, he- heavier bass type music was okay. there, at least for the first night. And then uh, Queen's Domain was more of the... I guess higher caliber, not higher caliber, just uh, main stage, main stage, oh, main okay. stage type of uh, acts were at okay. the Queen's Domain, and they're about the same size. Like when it comes to like tents, oh, okay. like tent size and everything. And um, I actually like the Mad Hatter stage the way it was set up, like just with the lights and the lasers and the smoke machines and stuff. It was just set up really, really badass. Like, it gave her, like, a really great experience. And not to say, like, Queen's, Queen's Domain didn't have, like, a cool setup, and, and it did. I just really enjoyed the, the Mad Hatter set. Setup was really sweet. Huh, okay. And if you have any questions, please just, like, cut in and no, no. cut me off. Um, I mean, so, I'm, yeah. I'm immersed in it. Yeah, so it's day one, so I get in, and I'm like, okay. Um, it's five o'clock. The doors just open. I know where, where I want to be. So the first place I go, I'm just kind of like meandering around, just kind of get my bearings. First, I fill up my camelback, so I'm just all ready to go. I've got my got my water. I got a little buzz on from the from the uh, vodka and Red Bull, and then uh, now I'm just kind of like getting the lay of the land, figuring out. Okay, there's Mad Hatter. There's Cheshire Woods. There in Cheshire Woods was more of, I guess, would be more of the techno side, okay. more. Yeah, more of the techno stage, house music. Uh, I, I still don't even really know how to classify a lot of this shit. Just, uh, uh, and I'll, I'll name I'll name off some artists that were there throughout the weekend as well, and that'll give you a better idea, kind of like what the setup was there. So, um, so I get to lay the lands, and then I go to, over to Mad Hatter's um, uh, stage, and uh, the first band that was up, they're called Consoles. And um, which was nice about this was like there was only like 50 people there. So it was like I was able to go up right to the rail, kind of hang out, you know. They're playing some good music, just kind of chill, get the good vibe, just kind of settle in. Like I'm like, all right, this is just the beginning of a crazy night. Like I knew it was going to I knew it was going to fill up and get insane. Yeah, I'm feeling good. Absolutely. Yeah, Yeah. definitely. And uh, uh, we're already getting in getting some of those plur vibes. You know, I'm like I'm trying to. Especially when I'm really on the EDM vitamins, like I really like to just go out of my way and like compliment people, like if they have a cool outfit. Most of the girls that just like have like these crazy outfits, like they really go full out. Yeah. You know, most guys are just wearing T-shirts and shit. But if a, someone had a cool outfit, I would definitely go out of my way. I'm like, damn, like good idea, like good on you for doing that. Or like totems, like right. I was all about the totems on this trip. So I'm like, oh, I was trying to compliment as many people as possible on their totems if they're cool. You know, just kind of spread the love yeah, and, yeah. and have a good time with that. And then, um, so it was cool with, with consoles, just, just to get the up close and personal touch, like you really get close up and like, okay, I'm not going to get here probably for the rest of the weekend. Cause it's just going to be insane for, right, right. for the whole time. Um, so yeah, check them out more dubstep type music and it was nice to kind of warm up to them. And then I pop over to, uh, Queens of, Do- uh, Queens domain and, uh, Drillo is playing and he is really good. I've seen him. I guess this would be the the second time I've, I've seen him. He was at Spin Nightclub uh, when I saw Son Holo. Oh, okay. Um, so he played a, a couple of Son Holo songs. Actually, quite a few people played uh, you know played some Son Holo throughout uh-huh. the weekend. That was kind of funny. I'm like, oh, yeah, I love this song. Perfect. Sweet. Yeah, it was pretty cool. Um, so, yeah, and then f- for the first time, I was able to see Queen's Domain and also was able to get pretty close and oh, cool. have some good, good vibes. And, and at this time, more and more people are starting to show up and – you know, just the full uh, the 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 excitement and and the fun in the air just starts to rise. You can just feel it's really like this this event just re- had like some amazing good vibes. Like just really, it, just really fun. Like uh-huh. um, I, like it's hard for me to like even quantify or even put into words. Like it was just had a good good atmosphere. Like uh-huh. I just felt like everyone was just having a really really good time. Uh-huh. All right, so. Yeah, question? No, I'm just oh, okay. saying that's just, I'm sure it was palpable. Oh, absolutely, yeah. 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 I mean, so you're there early, like you're... Oh, yeah, right, early. pretty much right as the doors open. I'm like, I, they might have opened a little earlier, but the acts yeah. actually started at 5 o'clock. So were there like hordes of people coming in, or was it kind of just a slow Um. So build? yeah, at this time, yeah, it was basically a slow buildup, and then okay. probably around like 
seven or six, it was just like, all right, people are here now. Like it is just okay. it, it's definitely filled up by yeah. now. Yeah. All right. So. Um, at this point, so now um, the first night I'm basically bumping back and forth between Queen's Domain and Mad Hatter's, and um, the way uh, Queen's Domain set up is like every hour a uh, new act comes on, and then at Mad Hatter it's every um, it would be like say like five o'clock to like five forty five, and then from five forty five to six forty five, it, it was oh, okay. like fifteen minute difference. Okay, from yeah. each other so it was kind of nice if i knew like okay at the end of the set i'm gonna bump over to queen's domain and then i'll still have enough time to like catch right you know right, right. the beginning of a new act that's gonna be going on over here or you know or, or, or like vice versa in, yes exactly before. okay yeah. like okay i'm like i know okay i can stay at mad hatter's and then i can catch 15 minutes of this artist before i have to bump over to Queen's Domain to okay. see the beginning. So it was kind of nice. So I was able to see a shit ton of, of different artists throughout this weekend. Just most of them I stayed for majority of the set, but some of them it was just like maybe like 10 minutes, five minutes. And then, of course, also I'm like, I've got to refill my camel back throughout right. the night. And also I'm just like, okay, I'm going to go walk around and just kind of catch the vibe right. of the place. Nice. And, and uh, yeah. honestly, like I got like – you get turned around and I'm like, where the fuck is that water station again? And, yeah, like, uh, and it's like all the way over here. Yeah. It's all the way at this corner over here. So I'm like, How you know far? what? Fuck it. I'll just go to this one over here. How far were those stages apart? From the they were not far. Like oh, okay. I would say 50, maybe like 80 yards apart. Oh, okay. Yeah. But yeah, they were like kind of staggered though. So it wasn't like, it. you never really got like a bleed over of music. Like oh, you felt okay. like it was like too overbearing or something like right. that. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And then, um, and then, so for the first night, there was the threat, or not the threat, but there was the possibility of rain. So that oh, was yeah, right. that was a big thing too. So yeah. it's like uh, you just gotta make sure you bring a poncho or bring a jacket or something, just just in case, <coughs> just in case it might rain. And then, so that's why I wore different shoes, and that's that's gonna uh, come down the road okay. on this first on this first yeah. night. All right, so after Drolo, I go over to um, uh, Mad Hatter. So I wanted to see the upbeats. Um, and these are all like people that I've, I've never seen, but a lot of these guys I, I preemptively went ahead just to check them out online. Just like, okay, let me kind of get a vibe, right. kind of see like what their music is about and like if I want to check them out type of thing. So, so yeah, I, I had this whole list of people that I wanted to see. And then some people I'm like, you know what? If I'm here, if I'm feeling good, I'll, I'm going to stay and check them out. And that's... Uh, uh, Probably around six or seven is when I started chomping on some EDM vitamins, okay. and I did it a different way. So I read on Reddit, on the MDMA forum, on the subreddit, I went on there, and I, I read about some people, different methods of taking MDMA. Okay. So we had, I had Game Boys, Blue uh-huh. Game Boys. As you know, and then I broke them in half. So instead of just doing it quarter, re- doing it through the quarters and like a little slow build up, I'm like, right. you know what, fuck it. This first night, I broke them in half and I just chomped on it. It tastes nasty as oh, fuck. You ate it. I, you, I, I just chomped on it until it was all like broken up into oh. tiny small pieces uh-huh. and then I just chugged a bunch of water and then the taste is gone. But it was one of the best rolls I've ever had doing it that way. Yeah. And then I did a half. And then so that half got me like through a many many hours of just pure EDM bliss. Like it was so fucking. Did it come up quick? It came no. It just okay. came up like. You know what? Maybe it wasn't like in the quick sense of like, oh my god, I'm in it now. Yeah. It just like realizing like, oh, I feel really fucking good right <laughs> now. I'm right. like really dancing. Like I'm really just enjoying. What's going on right now? I think that's really what it was. It was just, it wasn't like, oh, now, yeah, I think I feel it a little bit. It was right. just like, oh, I feel it. I, okay. I'm, I'm in it right, right now. This right. is feeling good right now. Interesting, interesting. Yeah, so good enough, good enough. I, I want, I would definitely recommend it, you yeah. know? I, and I never felt at all, like, I never felt sick or upset. I've never really felt upset, uh, yeah. like, upset by taking it. So uh, I, I don't know, just the way my body processes it. So, uh, yeah. Okay. But I I do recommend it, and I'm gonna do it at EDC, especially once we test these Batmans and see how these bad boys work. Yeah. Um, but yeah, man, I it, really, okay. really good, really good. Um, so you think it's still the same length of the roll? Oh, absolutely. It's just the, you know, when I when normally I would quarter it up. I would do oh, a quarter, and I would I wouldn't break it up. I just 
throw it in my mouth, and then obviously it's going to make its way down to my stomach, and then it's got to d- dissolve into my stomach, and then it's right. got to make its way through all the water that I've been sucking down, and then it's got to get into my bloodstream. When it, I think when it's in more of the powder form, it's just it's easier. It's a little bit yeah. – it's already broken up. It's already pretty much dissolved, right. and now it's just good to go, and then it's just – I feel like it's just a, a more efficient way of getting it into the – Getting into yeah. your bloodstream, I guess. Well, I, just, I could just imagine biting down on it, though. Probably. It's <laughs> disgusting. It's bitter as fuck. But, yeah. yo, people have done ayahuasca. <laughs> yeah, all right? I, that's bitter as fuck, you know? And I've <laughs> done, mushrooms don't taste good either. Oh, are Those are nasty. So it's yeah. like, ah, I can do it. it mm. And anyone can do it. And it's like it literally for two seconds and you get a big mouthful of water or whatever, and then you're good to go. Yeah, exactly. Really good to go. Huh. All right, so... After the upbeats, um, I go over to the main stage, Queen's Domain, and I wasn't planning on seeing this artist, but and by this time I was feeling really good on okay. EDM Vitamins. Like I was just ha- in like such a good mood, and I wasn't really feeling the dubstep at that point. Like uh-huh. so, it was nice to be able to go over to the main stage, and the artist was uh, Mercer, and he's a French dude, and he plays a lot of house music. Okay, it was so goddamn good. It was so good. Like I, I'm like I'm like. I think I want to see him at EDC. Like, I would love to see him again. He was that good. Okay. Um, Did you play EDC? Yes, he is. Yeah, okay. yeah. So he'll be at EDC. And then right as I'm kind of like, I was going to go check out Chesh- Cheshire Woods at this point. Because at this time, I was just kind of floating around. It was kind of like my float around time. Just kind of decide, like, where do I want to be at this point? And Mercer wasn't really, I wasn't really planning on seeing him, but I was just digging his music. And so as I'm walking out, these I met two this couple at huh. Datsik when we went to go see Datsik and they're wearing Kazo shirts and I'm like hey are you guys going to Beyond uh, this is at the Datsik show oh, I'm like oh, okay. hey are you guys going to the Beyond Wonderland they're like yeah yeah we're gonna go see Kazo I'm like yeah that's why I like asked like because you guys got the Kazo shirt and they saw me there and I'm like hey I'll see you guys at Beyond Wonderland and they they recognized me and they're like hey you oh, you from oh, from Datsik I'm like yeah. oh my god you oh. couples <laughs> <laughs> and then yeah so I'm right. big hugs you know it's like yeah, it was yeah. like my first like rave right. uh you know come across hey we yeah. met another rave type of thing so, and yeah. it was like such a like fun like oh shit this is awesome so hung out with them for a little bit and then um and then i'm like all right i'll meet you i'll meet you guys at kaiser because we were separating they were going to go off to a different stage and i was going off somewhere else so it was it was really nice to actually Very meet cool. up with someone like hey i recognize you that's cool yeah exactly yeah so that was like a big like oh fuck yeah that was sweet so it was cool to meet up with them. And then so uh, after Mercer, I head, to head back over, and I see this artist. His name is Midnight Tyrannosaurus. Mm-hmm. Big old fat dude. Heavy, heavy-ass dubstep. Like, really good shit. And so that was – see, seeing these bands, like the, the Midnight Tyrannosaurus, these dubstep stuff, that's yeah. what really fucked up my feet. Like, I think <laughs> – it didn't hurt in right. the moment. It, right. it was until end, and I'll fill you all okay. – <laughs> after night one, I'll fill you in what okay. happened to my goddamn feet. So, uh, real quick. Yeah. Um, when you uh, were chomping down on your vitamins, mm-hmm. uh, where did you go? Did you go – because they were in your I, The bathroom. Pocket, right? I want – yes, I oh, want okay. – yeah, after I got them – yeah, after I filled up my camel back, I went over to the bathrooms, got my gum out, got my chapstick out, got my EDM vitamins out oh, of my little Haida right. pocket, got everything where I wanted it. I had it broken up already to when I, you know, how I wanted to like partake in it. Yeah. And then so yeah, I just chomped down it in the bathroom. Okay. I did get a little I got I did get a little sloppy and I almost got I almost got caught. I almost got caught by the security on Stop on day here. two. Uh, no, no, I had my little baggie out. I'm like, hey, I'll just I'll just chomp on it right here. And it was just a bad move, and I shouldn't have done it. But I, I didn't get caught. I didn't get caught. But it was very close. It it put a little target on my back, I think. Um. So yeah, after seeing Midnight Tyrannosaurus, I had. So there were a couple of artists that I, there were must sees for me, and there were a couple who were just like, you know what? Attentively, I'm I'm going to check them out. If I'm there, I'm there type of thing. But there were a couple that I had to see, and that was Kid. I, right. I saw him on New Year's Eve, right. and then I've been downloading a bunch of his music, and he's just really he is one of my favorites right now. Right. Like he he is awesome. I cannot wait to see him at EDC. Where's like, he playing EDC? I think he's on Circuit. I I want to say oh, he's on okay. Circuit cool. Ground. So he, or. He might be on Cosmic. I don't know. Okay. He's either on Circuit or Cosmic Meadow. Okay, uh, cool. Regardless, it's going to be fucking awesome. Yeah. So, yeah, he's one of my favorite artists right now. And 
really really good music just real good visuals along yeah. along with it and everything i real quick side note i did i saw originally by some facebook post and mm. there was a video and his music was just it was good but it was just different enough for me to pay attention yes and then i started following him on facebook and that's the only reason i had found out about I'm sure I would have found out about it eventually, but the the New Year's Eve show. Oh, because he was like, "Hey, I'm, guess what? I'm playing San Diego New Year's Eve." But they hadn't announced any of the headlines right. yet. Right. Yeah. And I was like, "Oh shit! This is the the show." You know what I mean? But anyway, that's my little story about Kid. Yeah. And you missed him. You missed yeah, missed him. No, and I missed him. <laughs> he was really good. That I mean, that's what like got me. I'm like, "Oh, this dude's really." And he yeah. closed out New Year's, so it's like he was he was like from one to two in the morning or. Yeah. Maybe it was four. When, when the fuck did that thing end? Uh, yeah, it must have been like three uh, to didn't four. It end at oh no, it didn't. Not not for me. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it was all right. Uh, yeah, it's Yester, right? He closed that bitch out. Oh, I'm still up till four. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Rocking back and forth. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. This is different. <laughs> Just petting the cat. <laughs> oh, you're so soft. Oh, this is a waste of money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. So, and in, in, I'm forgetting to tell you how amazing it is to be in the crowd, smash in there. People have their totems. I'm like, I'm just enamored in the whole culture. I'm like, I'm back in my happy place. I'm just yes. like, because people put so much fun, creative things into their totems. And I follow quite a quite a few people on Instagram that their totems are kind of not famous, but well known. They're, they're like ones like, hey, I'll look. F- I, I I've seen that one at EDC before, type okay. of thing. And I'm like. And whenever I saw like a, a, a memorable totem, I would always go up and like, dude, your totem's awesome. I, nice. I, really cool. I'll see you at EDC if you're going. Like, yeah. Always like, I'm just, especially when you're, when I'm full, I call it plur mode, when I'm just yeah. EDM, vitamins are just kicking. I'm just feeling so good. Like, I'm wishing I could be passing out compliments like this 24 right, 7. Right, right. So you're taking advantage of yes, it. Yes, I'm taking okay. advantage I of like it. That. And dude, I'm I don't, and, I don't do that and I'm getting compliments, and and I'm seeing uh, other guys with the same dare shirt. You know, right. I ran into two dudes. You were hugging. You know, yeah. like dude, this is awesome. We're all like, ironically laughing at each other because right. we're high <laughs> as fuck wearing these dare shirts, right. and they're bright neon. They're really comfortable too, like soft material. Oh man, it's so good. And then so by this point, it's it's a little bit sprinkling outside, just mm. a little rain, just a little bit. So you know. So what time is it at this point? Okay, so. Kid probably came on around nine o'clock. I want to okay, say, and so it goes till couple, ten. You're a couple hours. I'm, in I'm a couple of hours uh, in from from chomping down, okay. having a good old time. But I'm still like really just white, right in that wave of of awesomeness. Okay, cool. Um, so yeah, Kid came on at uh, eight forty five and ended at nine forty five. Cool. So after Kid, Kid, I kind of hang out just for a second to kind of catch um, Oliver Heldens. Never heard his music. I'm sure I've heard remixes. I'm sure I've heard like more of his popular songs and didn't even realize it was him. He was pretty good at our castle that I really wanted to check out. So I'm okay. like, I'm just gonna go walk around. Nice. And now it's like everything is lit up. Like all, and yeah. it was pretty cool because they had trees were all lit up. Like all, all right. bunch of lights. They have um, all the decora- decorations that come with like an Alice in Wonderland theme type right. of thing. They've got the uh, character actors that are out there in their costumes and stuff and. So this time I'm just kind of just venturing out, kind of catching my breath, refill on water, just kind of just watching around. And I was trying to be as cognizant as possible, just like, all right, I'm going to try to take as many pictures and videos as possible. If not, I normally would just have my camera away or have my phone away because I – it does get a little annoying, you know, when everyone has their fucking phones up. And I'm like, well, I kind of want to take a video too, so I would have to throw my phone up too. Yeah. I don't know. It just gets like, come on, people. Let's enjoy it. We're being the moment. Right. But whatever, who who cares? Right. I mean, you want to document your journey, and I definitely want to take more pictures. Of I think about the see. days when they would yell at you, they would right, like throw right. you out of a venue if you right. dared put your fucking phone up so true. and take a picture or something. Yeah, it was they crazy. Shine that flashlight yeah, yeah. You're like, whoa, whoa, whoa. You're like, yeah. hey, what? <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah. crazy. Times have changed. That. Oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> all right, so um. All right, so yeah, next next guy I go to see. So the next one on my list is Black T- Tiger Sex Machine, uh-huh. and um, they're the guys that wear like the tiger masks. They're yeah. you know one of those DJs with kind of like a theme to it or whatever. Uh-huh. Or 
Um, and they were really, really, really good. Like yeah, I really enjoyed they their show. BBC last year. Yeah, yeah. 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 And I, I pre- didn't see them, but I, they were on the Insomniac uh, playlist. Okay. So yes. I was listening to them. Last yeah, year. and they're they're going to be back again. I'm pretty sure they're at EDC again this year. Yeah. From what I remember seeing. Um, but yeah, they were really, really good. I very much enjoyed their show. Um, and at this point, like you know, I'm like random people will just come up to you and start talking to you and you have like these fun little conversations you know just like little little fun interactions like this one chick she had like instead of like the Vicks vapor w- rub which I, I still don't really get like I get it like it smells like Vicks like I'm not like I'm not like I guess I've never really been fond of that smell before uh, okay. but she had like um like lavender or something uh, okay. on her little her little face match and she's like oh smell this it smells really good and I smell it. I'm like Oh, like this, yeah. I can get into. Like this, I could just breathe up the all day. It's supposed to open up your passage. Oh, okay, I, okay. I, I guess I get that. Yeah, it's not really the smell. Oh. Even though it does have a smell. Yeah, and people do. They have these little tube things, and they stick about the, and I guess the little the Vicks thing. things. Yeah. yeah. It'll clear up the passage. The first time I was rolling, someone came and gave me one of those. He's all, he, he literally you, held it to my nose. He's like, hey, just sniff this. And yeah, like, yeah. Okay. Right, right. <laughs> so it does. It does really yeah, give it just you a opens good. Up your pathway. Is that a thing? Does it close up your pathways? Well, that's Is why a... you use Vicks. You rub it on your chest and it opens. But I mean, if you're pathway. rolling, does it automatically? Is it like closing down your, or is it just? No. Is it just something that? It just opens you up. Okay. And it's it's it, it's got that cool mint kind of yes. camel crush. Yes. Yeah. Thing. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I get from. Okay. It. Yeah. Maybe I just haven't really embraced it. I haven't. Think maybe I, maybe I, you're focused on the smell of it, mm-hmm. maybe not just kind of like. Like really breathing it in. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You're right. You're Maybe. right. I'm just. Thinking. Yeah. No. That that does make sense. Plus, you put it in your mouth that one time. Uh, and that yeah, that was pretty oh, gross. Really yeah. Them. Well. Because yeah, that would probably be disgusting. I I was thinking it was one thing, and it yeah. turned out to be fixed. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> you know, when, when your mind's not there, and it wasn't like I I didn't even know it was a thing, Vix at the time. You know, right. when I was at EDC that you know last year and. I was just ignorant. <laughs> well, that sounds cool, though, smelling something else, because I wouldn't even have thought of that right. either, you know? Yeah. Something like kind of that's really good smelling. Yeah, it, yeah exactly, yeah. Oh, so much fun, though. Yeah, and, you know, just these fun little conversations. Yeah. And, you know, like what? Like Just random shit, you know, either talking about the band or just talking about each other's, like, you know, you, some random girl will come up to you and like, oh, I really like your shirt, and she's, like, feeling it and stuff, and you're just uh-huh. like, oh, well, you have a great outfit, too. Like, right. I really like it. Like, you're going to E to C, you know, you just, you know, you start rolling, oh, uh, talking about artists you've seen, I'm like, oh, I've seen Kid before, and, you know, just fun stuff like that. Sweet. Yeah, it was, it was nice. So I never really felt like I was really alone, Yeah. you know, even though I was there technically by myself, and that was just the great thing about the kind of the atmosphere, just yeah. the the kind of people that go to events like this, it was just fucking amazing. Really, yeah. really cool. Um, so yeah, after um, Black Tiger Sex Machine, um, I get to see. I saw a little bit of Kill the Noise, and then my number one that I had to must see was Seven Lions. Oh. So I Queen's Domain. L- rush over to Queen's okay. Domain, kind of post up. The place is packed, oh, so yeah. I try to get a decent spot. And this is later on, right? This is later on, yeah. So this, um, Seven Lions didn't go on until 11.45. Oh, okay. And um, so, yeah, I get there right at 11.45, get a good spot. Boom, Seven Lions. Oh, he starts playing some amazing music, and I'm just taking me right back to EDC, Uh, dude. Like, it took me right back, (laughs) and he's so good visually and everything about him. Just And I, I, I downloaded a shit ton of his music, and I listen to it all the time. It's... You know, it's good music. It's um, a lot of you know women singing, yeah, but yeah. like good breakdowns as well. So I don't even know what that genre is, but it's just yeah. good. It's just really good music, and I've and it, just that enjoy music his just shit. Takes you somewhere else. Yes. And the visuals at Circuit Grounds were just like, oh, oh, this, these are perfect. I, yes. I, I kind of get what's going on. Right. I just, I'm just feeling it. Really. Exactly. Like, it's expansive. It's like imaginative. It's takes you somewhere else it's pretty crazy absolutely that was my edc experience yeah it definitely and and yeah his his visuals are on point and queen's domain it it, it was cool but it, i i wish it just had more of a more more to it uh, i wish it was okay. a little bit more elaborate when it comes to uh the setup of lights and everything but it's still cool okay still pretty badass 
And so by this time, it's raining. It's raining outside. Oh. So even more people start packing in. Oh. It just gets more and more condensed with people. And then, I, you know, I'm. And then by this time, I've I've already re-upped. So I've oh, okay. I've chomped down on my other half. So I'm really feeling so good. So when did you do that? Like before it w- it would have been before that. It would have been. I I want to say it was maybe 15, 20 minutes before uh, a Black Tiger Sex Machine. Because oh, okay. I knew I had uh, at least a couple more hours of, you, you know, dancing and have right. a good old time and, so and just you enjoying it. feeling the come down at that point, or were you just like, no, I, I, double down? I, I, pretty much a double down. Okay. I knew, I knew I, I, I was probably getting to the point where it would get to the point of, like, the come down uh-huh. type of thing. But I, I, t- I, I timed it pretty well. I okay. timed it really well on, on the first night, for sure. And you're just chomp, chomp, chomp again. Huh? Absolutely. Bitter, nasty taste, yeah. and they just chug some water, and it's gone, and then boom, back up to wow. back up to 11, baby. Here we go. <laughs> uh, keep crazy. on, keep the dance party going. Huh. And wonder, dude, I'd probably try it, but I, I do also like some part of me likes the slow come up too. I, I understand so I like, that. Well, chump, both, chump though. on a quarter. Chomp on a quarter. Right. See how it feels. Get it, get it into you, and then chomp on another quarter if you feel like really blasting off and getting there yeah no i mean that's yeah. probably what i would do maybe one at least one of the nights no, totally experiment works. just to see how it feels for you right no yeah. exactly no i do like that suggestion yeah. though absolutely yeah or maybe to re-up yeah mm-hmm. and then so <sighs> shit i kind of uh, lost my got packed at seven oh, okay so yeah so now it's raining all uh-huh. right so seven lions ends and i know i got to uh Okay, so at this point, then Tiesto is coming on after Seven Lions. Oh, no shit. All right, so now I've got this dilemma. Same I've stage. Se- yes, Sorry, Queen's Domain. Yeah, yeah, yes, okay. same stage, okay, Queen's okay. Domain, yep. So we've got Seven Lions and then Tiesto starting. So I have this dilemma. I really want to see Keizo. Oh, yeah. I want to see him on the main stage or on, on Ma- at the Mad Hatter stage. I've seen Tiesto a few times. Right. I've only seen Keizo one time, So and I wanted to try to meet up with that couple. All right. And then so I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna see a little bit of Tiesto because I get like a you know couple minutes before Kazo starts. So oh, yeah, I saw yeah. a little bit of Tiesto and I'm like, all right, I, I'm gonna bump over. And now it's really coming down. It's really fucking raining, and wow. and there are people just jam packing in both venues. Like there's oh, no man. no just hanging out outside. Really? And then so all right. Is it a cold rain? You know what? I'm rolling, so it feels awesome. Okay. So I, I was sweating and I was right. dancing a shit ton, dude. Like I did. My step counter, I smashed it. I did 34,000 plus steps uh-huh. the first night. 34,000 steps. And previous, it was like 20 something thousand. Wow, okay. And that's from like whatever last EDM event I right. went to. I forget. Right, Datsik. Yes, Datsik. Yeah. yeah, it would have been Datsik. And then, and then, so yeah, I'm like, I bump over to Kazo. It's just way too packed. And like, I, I'm like, uh-huh. I'm in dance mode. Like, and when, okay, so when I was there, like, with the cool thing about being alone, I don't know. It's not like, not like I would feel, um, hindered by dancing. Like if I was like with with you guys, with a group of people, I was just dancing like no one was looking. That type of thing. I'm just moving yeah. with the music, having a good time. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. You know, if I look like an old man, I don't give a shit. Uh, I mean, most of these people are probably in their early twenties, mid twenties, and I'm thirty three. Didn't didn't I did not care, and no one I'm even sure treated no either. one treated me like an old person. Yeah. Like I'm sure. People never guess that I'm in my even like 33. Like people always assume I'm I'm younger anyway. So didn't even I don't even wasn't thinking about it. It wasn't like a something holding me back or anything. But I was just dancing, having a good time, really just embracing the fun energy of the event. So with Kazo, I bump over there. It's just way too packed. There's no way I'm going to find the, the those right. two people from previous. And then I'm like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to dance in the rain. I'm going to get as close to the stage as possible. So you got the tent. It's coming down, and you got like the poles uh-huh. and shit and then right outside it's just like rain's coming down i'm like and this is perfect like no one's around me I-, I can move around i can have a good time and there was a shit ton of other people too just enjoying nice. it feeling the same level they're like yeah. fuck it it's too packed in there dude, if you're hot, you're dancing exactly hot. dude and i had my jacket too so i had my hood on uh-huh. and and i had so i was it wasn't like a rain was resistant jacket, more of just like a windbreaker, but it oh, was yeah. and I was soaked anyways by the end of the night, but it was still just I didn't care. I didn't give a shit. It yeah. felt good. I, I was just like 
and Kazer was so goddamn good, like just heavy dubstep, like really fast paced, fast beat, and I was just like really just riding that wave of just awesome, fun, good times. Like the the whole night was just such a fun experience, and just to have Kazo to like kind of top it off, right. a little cherry on top, it was just so goddamn good, really, really awesome. And then, yeah, by the end of the night, like, all the people that were all dancing on the rain were all, like, high-fiving each other, nice. rain crew, you know, were just like, <laughs> hell nice. yeah, like, you know, we're, yeah. The, we're the hardcore ones. <laughs> yeah, for real. Yeah, because there were a couple of times where, you know, you're, you have some room, and then all of a sudden, you don't have room. And then you're bumping into people, and people are like, hey, can you uh, move a little? And I'm like, dude, you... you Brace yourself. I'm dancing here, but you know, I, I'm like, you know, fuck it. I'll just, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm like, fuck it. I'll just move to the outside where I've got a little bit more space, so I can yeah. spastically move my arms and have a good time and just dance and have a good time. So, kind of uh, would eventually move to the outskirts, you know, if I really wanted to dance. But yeah, man, that first first night was just fucking epic. And then, so yeah, it finally Kazo ends, and it's still it's raining, it's pouring, and. And then by this time, now it's just finally sinking in, like, oh, shit, I'm tired. Oh, yeah, I'm sore. That's crazy. So, uh, yeah, I was able to uh, – luckily, I mean, dude, I, I got the van. I've got all my clothes. I could change out of my clothes. I get in the sweatpants. I'm like, right. I, I can get all comfortable. I wait like an hour or two. I let the lot clear out and uh-huh. let all you know, let all the craziness move by. And then so by this time, it's probably like 3 in the morning, 3, wow. 3.30 in the morning. So I'm like, all right, time to venture out and find a spot for the night. So and it's still raining at this point, and I really didn't ha- – at this point, I'm, like, I'm just like, I'll just go with the flow. And if I find a good spot, I find a good spot. And luckily I did find a, a good area where I'm like – and San Bernardino is not the nicest area. So I just wanted to make sure I wasn't in like the ghetto ghetto yeah. where I'm like people are going to fuck with me at like 3 or – Five in the morning. Who knows? Right. Like you know. Those early riser, rising gangsters. I know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> or they just never went to sleep and they're just high on meth, looking for uh, something. Um, so yeah, I did. Yeah, exactly. So I did. <laughs> I found a good spot and I uh, was able to get some rest. And then I wake up in the morning. And then so the reason I wore these shoes was because it was supposed to rain. I wore my Nikes, and I don't really wear these shoes that often. I mean, they're comfortable enough to just wear them. But to wear them and do like 34,000 plus steps in the rain and be walking around and then dancing, I just smashed. I can, I can, I forget what the doctor, how, how he said it. I just like con- contusion? contusion, just constantly uh-huh. jamming my toe into the front of my narrow shoe uh-huh. caused my, both my nails to swell up. They were so painful. The next morning, like I'm like shit. Can I even like get through this oh, second night? Gosh. I'm like I'm, I got to. I have to. Right. So I go to 24 Hour Fitness. I take a shower, kind of re-energize after, kind of getting some sleep. Like uh-huh. it was still, I don't know. Just when you're in a new area, like it just I wasn't. I didn't quite reach the sleep level that I would like. And then I just don't sleep very well after a night of doing. Yeah, no, doing something like an EDM vitamin, yeah. you're still kind of jacked. You're still a little yeah. bit going. So it took me a while just to even just settle down and even like get into the mode of sleeping. So I really didn't get that much sleep. But you know what? I'm like, fuck, I'm going to soldier up. I'm going to do it. And then my feet just fucking hurt. So like I can't describe it. Like it, it really was just like such a weird feeling I'd never felt. My left toe was w- way worse. So, so you had in both feet? Yeah, both feet. Oh. Both feet. Oh yeah! Oh my God! So did you feel it? At I never all? felt it at all. Wow. That's why I was so surprised when yeah. I woke up the next morning. I'm like, "Oh shit, my feet really hurt." And then I look down, and both my nails are like swollen, bruised, like uh, blood is like all under the big toenail and uh-huh. a couple of my smaller toes. I'm like, "Holy That's shit! Crazy. This is nuts!" Yeah. I'm like, "Fuck." So yeah, I, t- I take care of. Uh, so I-, I take a shower. I'm like I'm hobbling everywhere, just like slowly walking. I'm like I'm trying not to wear my shoes, just trying to like let my toes get some air type right, of thing. Yeah. And then so I'm like at a certain point, I'm like, all right, it- it's like in the afternoon by this time. So uh-huh. it's Saturday afternoon. I-, I took my shower. I've I've eaten. I've kind of like reestablished myself. I'm like, okay, the parking lot's gonna open up pretty soon. I'm just going to head over there, and then I'm just going to figure my shit out, uh-huh. you know? Uh-huh. So I'm like, I'm going to figure out how I'm going to be able to make the second night. Luckily, the second night wasn't supposed to rain, so I'm like, that's a good thing. Okay. 
didn't so, have to wear those shoes. I, uh, well, I wasn't. Yeah. I was definitely <laughs> yeah. never gonna wear the. Dude, I should have just worn my Vans. Like I, I wore yeah. my Vans for EDC and had no problems. Right. And you think like, oh, Vans, they're not very th- thick or whatever. They're, yeah. they're not that comfortable. But I'm like, my Vans are so goddamn comfortable because I wear them all the time. They're, my feet are perfectly worked right. into them, and like I can dance around, jump around, and have a good old time. So I wore my Vans and I, I gauzed out my toes. I put, I just padded them up basically. Right. I just wrapped them all up, ma- like just made them as as padded up as as I could. And then instead of having one <laughs> one Red Bull vodka, I had two. I'm like, all right, we're gonna yeah, like I'm gonna good. get into this. <laughs> my al- the, I'm gonna up the alcohol level and just fucking get the fuck back in there. Yeah, and smart. then just r- ride that wave again. Yeah. Or ride that Game Boy, play that game, yeah. you know, and just and have a good old time. So, so I just kind of I soldiered up, my man up, and and took some I took some aspirin actually beforehand. Just uh-huh. and dude, and my body was just tired, you know, just flat out from just moving and doing just hours and hours of dancing. Literally from five to two, I was moving. Right. You know, I was either walking or dancing or doing whatever. So it was like a nonstop marathon. But it was just such a good wake up call, good preemptive. Like, all right, EDC is three days, and it's from dusk till dawn. So, yes. fucking prepare yourself. You got to yes. really start getting your diet in order. You got to really start getting your cardio up to par, and you got to figure out what you're gonna wear <laughs> for your feet and stuff. You know, make oh, sure yeah, you're yeah. comfortable. Make sure you're good to go. Yeah. And, I'm, and um, I'm thinking about just talk, talk, talking to you. I'm like, yeah. Hey, what, what I know exactly, yeah. Because it's weird too, because my I do have a pair of Nikes, so running shoes, mm-hmm. but when and I've worn them to res, and I think I wore them to Datsik also. Yeah. But they do crowd the toes, and I was as you were saying that I was like, yeah, if I spent all night in those things, yeah, that might be not. Because I was gonna plan on wearing them, but I'm like, maybe. maybe uh, especially, I, I mean, we're gonna I mean, if you're gonna come with me, I'm gonna see Excision. Like, I want to see some right. of these fucking heavy bands, man. And I'm going deep. I'm going hard for these people, so I want to. I want to be comfortable. Yeah, I just no, want to absolutely. be ready for combat, basically. Yeah. <laughs> but, dude, it, it, the first night, it just filled my heart up with just joy and love and just, like, back in this, the environment, the plur vibes, man. It really just really got me in a good place. So I'm like, I felt, it like, even, it was made it even easier to get, get motivated for that second night. Oh, right. And it, I even looked at the, the lineup, I'm like, you know, there's really not anyone I really have to see. And I was almost like, maybe I'll leave it like 10. Uh huh. And nah. Yeah. Then that yeah, yeah. happened. It's almost, yeah, there's not a lot you want to see, but almost then opens you up to, I'm going to go where the fuck I, I feel like. You know what? And I had, uh, yeah. I, I want to say that I had almost an even better time on the second really? night because there was like, I less didn't, ha- it was less expectations. And that's, right. I think that's kind of why I had such a great time at EDC last year. There was, uh, I was just going with the flow. Like, I'll, yeah. I'll, Katie, she's going to guide us through this craziness right. of EDC. And I'm like, fuck, let's do it. Let's go. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah, the second night was so goddamn good. It was so much fun. All right, let me jump over to the next page. All right, so <clears throat> same thing, you know. I decided I thought I was going to go in later, you know, because oh, my toes right. or whatever, you know. I, maybe I'll get in there six or seven when everyone else is going out there. And then after two Red Bull vodkas, I'm like, all right, I'm ready to go. <laughs> yeah, Let's yeah. get in there. So I, you know, I'm like, fuck it, I'll just get in there at five. You know what? I paid money for these tickets. I, I spent the money to get down here or get up here. So I'm like, well, I'll just let's just go. And if your body really craps out, you sit down, you take a breather, you hang out, and you take it easy for a little bit. But no, once I got in there, rolling on some uh, Red Bull vodkas, and I get get in there, fill in my water, and then I hear the magical, the sweet, sweet music, this dubstep coming from the space yacht. It's one of the art cars. It's a small stage, so it's like off in this, a, a different section uh, that I hadn't been to really to yet. So I'm filling up my water, and I'm like, what is this intoxicating music that I'm hearing? I I have to check this out. So I just get drawn to to the to this like space yacht and they, a lot of heavy bass music and okay. I'm just like, oh, this is good, really really good. And I was meaning to go over there anyways because there was this DJ, uh, YDJ, DJ, and he was doing a throwback dubstep uh, oh, cool. set. And I'm like, oh, I gotta check this out. This yeah, yeah. this this is intriguing. So yeah, I get called over to the space yacht, and at this point it's St. Patrick's Day, so I'm wearing green. I've got a baseball tee, uh, you know, like quarter sleeve, yeah. and it's green. I've got a green hat on. I've got 
you know, my normal shorts on. Like I wear, I wear like these uh, cut off jean shorts that I don't know. I just they're so comfortable. They're perfect for for me for the rave scene. Just like perfect fit for whatever. So that's my outfit. Automatically, once I get in there, off to complimenting people again. I'm getting compliments in return. Excuse me. Yeah, it's just such. A, again, it it just when you're in this environment, it just motivates you to keep going, having a good time, and just keep on keeping on. All right. So it's space yacht. So I'm, uh, I get there. I'm checking out a couple of new artists, and at this time, like I said, there's really no one at Queen's Domain or at Mad Hatter's that I necessarily need to really check out right then and there. Um, so it's um, totally cool, just like, you know, hanging out with the space yacht a little bit, maybe bumping around a little bit, just hanging out. And with um, with the space yacht, I, I, it's hard to describe it. It's really just like a little art car, like you would see uh, at um, at EDC, you know, right. just one of those little offset little 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 stages that yeah. just random artists will play at. And it just blew me away. And then so <clears throat> after doing some dub stuff and having a good time there, I'm like, all right. I got to go finally check out Cheshire Woods. Oh, and, okay. and so Cheshire, it's, it was like a, uh, an enclosed area. And um, actually, the stage was really badass. It was perfect for the diffraction glasses. Oh, okay. So lots of cool lights, good laser setup. And like I said, it was more of like techno type music. And then uh, there's this artist I really wanted to see. His name is New Kid. And um, very much like a res, res sound okay. to him. Okay. Very, really, really good. Like awesome set. Like I, he, he was also one of my favorite sets from the weekend. So I'm in there, and um, so I got my diffraction glasses, and this is one of my coolest moments for me, just memorable moments because I was able to share it for the first time with someone who had never done diffraction glasses before. Nice. Just like at EDC, yeah. you know, you, your first time you put them on, and you're like, holy <laughs> shit! This is why these people are wearing these glasses. This is <laughs> awesome. So right. diffraction glasses, it it breaks up the light and all these like crazy. Prism. Prisms, yeah, it's like so <laughs> badass, and especially when you have all the oh, Gazuntite, you have all the all these lights and lasers and stuff. It just really creates like this really awesome look to it. It's really badass, really cool. So I was able to share it with this girl for the wow. first time, and she, and like her whole little crew, I'm like, hey, pass it around, pass it around, let everyone yeah. try. And she was like, it was just nice to see the look on her face, like you know, puts them on and a like, big smile. I'm like, yes, uh -huh. gotcha, oh, that's awesome, gotcha. So were they just chilling? You were just like, yes, hey, check this out. exactly, nice. yeah. yeah. And dude, like, I, I'm, yeah. and by the way, I'm dancing the whole time. Yeah, 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 by yeah. the way, just let you know, like, I'm, I'm, there's, can't stop, won't stop. Right, right. Just like EDC, I'm like, oh, right. oh, here we go, I'm moving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't care how I'm moving, but I'm moving to the music. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, but New Kid was really, really fucking good, and I wish I'd spent more time at Cheshire Woods. So that just makes me want to like go to like neon gardens more often or right. go to uh quantum valley and and all check out these other stages uh, the the hard style one that i don't even think i've ever been to the hard style one it's more like post uh, post-apocalyptic look right. to it at, at edc um so yeah after new kid i uh head over to electric mantis and so i checked him online just to like and like again like all these new artists i'm like i just want to check them out you know i'm like might as well i want to see these people live so get a feel for or get a feel uh for their vibes and stuff yeah. and electric mantis was really good really good like i i don't even know how to describe his sound either but it's just good just check mm -hmm. him out especially live like all these uh, everyone's always better live like yeah. I, no matter what even just normal punk ba punk rock bands and you know uh, yeah. just live music in general it's always so much better right. and of course they're throwing in mixes you know these djs mixes and other songs from other artists so it's like they always put a good set but definitely recommend him and he was at mad hatters and so the second night it was less of like bass heavy focus for the mad hatter stage um because after electric mantis i saw um actually no yeah so after electric mantis then i, I jumped over to white ej to check out the oh. dubstep the throwback dubstep uh set which was fucking phenomenal a shit ton of people were there like i mean head banging having a good time just like going crazy and that's when i almost got caught by the security with my edm vitam so you're vitamins re you're re -upping? i i was thinking about re-upping at that point and uh -huh. um i did feel like i was coming coming down a little bit um so yeah i, I had it i had it in my hand like it was in my hand i didn't wasn't like just like hey just yeah. like, you know out in the air or whatever and they're like 
they just sneak up on you sometimes. The security guards, you know, uh, you're dancing, you're having a good time, and then out of your periphery, then there's the flashlight and just someone just standing there, you know, right, ominously, right. just like standing. And they're just like, oh, motherfucker. And yeah. They're like, and I kind of just stopped, and I'm like, and I have it in my hand, so I'm just like, you need to get by? Like, I'll stop dancing so you can get by me. And, right, right, right. And at that point, they kind of like posted up near me, so I'm like, ah, oh, I gotta be really careful. Like, right. real careful. Like, uh, you know, they could have thought I was hiding anything, you know. I mean, who knows? So you pulled it out just in your hand. Yes, exactly. And she just kind of noticed I was acting a little different or, or whatever, just acting a little, I don't know. I just caught her eye, I guess. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, after YEJ, I, I'm like, okay, the vibes here are a little weird. The security is, like, kind of a little too prevalent around here. So yeah. I'm, like, I'm going to get the fuck out of here. So I go back over to Mad Hatter's, and uh, Just a Gent's playing. And Just a Gent, I saw him play with Son Hello. Okay. Again, and he's really good, British dude. Um, you know, good mi- good mixes, really good, really good sound. And, uh, yeah, I had another awesome time seeing him. And um, let's see. So did you end up re-upping? Yes, I did eventually. Yeah, I, I'm like fucking. I'm just gonna go to the bathroom. So <laughs> I'm just gonna. I'm not gonna fuck around. Like I don't wanna. Yeah. Yeah, I don't wanna chance anything or anything like that. Yeah. Yeah. So at this point, after just a gen, um. So yeah. Uh, and then at this point, I'm like, I'm talking to people. We're hanging out. You know, we're kind of mixing it up in the crowd. And, I, and then these uh these two people come up to me and they're like, hey, like I really like your look. Like you. Re- really got a good vibe about you. I'm like, oh, okay, cool, yeah, thanks, yeah. And then, you know, we just get to talking in conversation. I'm like, oh, hey, yeah, I'm actually here by myself. I'm like, oh, really? Well, you join our crew? I'm like, okay, cool. I'll nice. join your cool for, crew for the night. So I was able to hang out with them. We're, you know, we're smoking uh, vape pens. Nice, we're having a nice. good time. We're hanging out. We're talking yeah. about shows. We're listening. And at this point, uh, Mr. Carmack's playing. So, uh, again, another artist I hadn't seen yet, but I've heard, heard his name passed around. I've seen his name, you know, you know, he's playing at the basement or he's playing whatever. Or he's playing at EDC. So it was cool to finally, like, okay, check him off the list. I've seen Mr. Carmack now. Awesome. And then so at this point, now I'm, like, really starting to, like, come up. I'm starting to peak, and it's, like, getting real packed at this point. So I'm like, all right, I got to peace out. So kind of like I told the – my new, uh, my new fan bam. I'm like, all right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go peace out on the outside and uh, on the outskirts so I can actually move and dance and kind of get my dance on. But before that, but before that, this amazingly hot little chick named Hannah comes up, wiggling that sweet, sweet ass, you know, doing their little whatever, yeah. shaking their ass dance, and I got right up on that and had a good old time and. Yeah, she's grabbing my leg, doing all the Whoa. sexual stuff, nice. and like it was very much unexpected. And I'm yeah. just like, "Oh, is this happening? Like, this right. isn't like a Me Too situation, right? Uh, we all we all agree this isn't a Me Too <laughs> right, situation. Right. I'm getting right. up on this sweet ass, and I'm right. gonna dance with her. And so yeah, so she just saw you dancing. Just oh, dude, yeah. I think I th- I honestly think just because I was dancing and having a good time, it didn't give right. a fuck, and I was just. Yeah. Moving and enjoying it, it really attracted people to me because yeah. they're like, "Hey, he's having a good time. I want right. to, I want to talk to this dude." dude. That's awesome. Yeah, so I'm like, and then yeah, after after uh, Mr. Carmack, she gave me a kiss. She's like, peaced out. I'm like, "Oh, that was perfect. That was like, that's all I needed. Yeah. A little fun, no, little yeah. interaction like that, yeah. with a little hottie." I'm like, well, she's "Damn." Just like, hey, yes, exactly. You know, we just uh, he's just like, "Oh, what's your name?" and Oh, I'm, I'm having such a good time, and blah blah blah. I'm like, yeah. I'm, I'm having a good time too. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> she probably was loving it because you mm-hmm. probably weren't like being like, "Oh, hey, what's up?" Oh no, you know, yeah. Like, and there, I, I saw plenty of that. Right. Girls just dancing, and then a dude just like comes up behind her and, and starts dancing, and she's like, "What the fuck are you doing?" Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. yeah, dude, that's awesome. Yeah. You say a little Asian chick? No, 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 oh, no. Okay. Just a uh, just a hot little white girl. Really? Okay. <laughs> Hell yeah. Yeah, man. Ah, uh, so it's just like. Oh, and at you're that like, point, I'm like, I'm like, like, like you got a van. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Come see the yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. All right. And then, so, and then after that, then I'm like, all right, now I got to move to the outside because I'm like, I got to get some air. It's hot. Um, it's not raining this day, so with a little, the temperatures a little higher, and um. Uh, but, but, you know, so people have, like, different nights that they could come. I think a lot more people came Friday night. Mm, uh-huh. But there was still still quite a few people on Saturday. Just I, Probably just because it's St. Patty's and people are like, let's do something for St. Patrick's Day. Yeah. 
yeah, yeah, totally. I actually wish more people were wearing green, though. That would have been badass. There weren't really that many people wearing green. I'm like, yeah. it would have been sweet if, like, uh, everyone was wearing <laughs> green, though. Yeah. Like, can we all get on top of this shit? <laughs> it would have been sick. Yeah. All right, so, yeah, after Mr. Carmack, um, Rehab comes on, another band that I've heard a bunch, or not band, but artist I've heard a bunch, and he was really good. And then... Uh, my surprised artist that I was like really like thumbs up for me was DJ Mustard. Have uh-huh. you ever heard of this dude? I've just seen the he's, name. He's very much like Flosserdamus, a lot of like hip hop, but mm. like dubstep influence, like really goddamn good. Like I had such a good time during his show. And by the way, my toes are still fucking swollen. They still hurt like m- like motherfuckers. Uh-huh. But EDM vitamins, it just takes, takes yeah. that pain away. Yeah. It's not till the next day and the next day after that and the day after that and the day after that that it really fucking hurts. Yeah. But at, during that time, I was like, I was doing pretty good. It wasn't until Floster Thomas comes on and about midway through and then I'm, 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 I'm coming down as well from, from all the EDM vitamins and everything. So I'm coming down off of that and then like towards the end of Floster Thomas, and by the way, is really fucking good again. Uh-huh. So good visually, we'll this yeah. I know that's why yeah. I'm like I gotta see him. At, yeah. uh, I gotta stay. I'm not. I can't leave at ten. I gotta right. stay until two. I gotta close this bitch out. <laughs> right. So I, I'm I'm there, and then I just I'm just I want to dance, but I'm dancing in slow motion. Like I'm just like barely moving. I don't want to move my feet anymore because yeah. they hurt so much. Oh, God. But I'm still on the outskirts, and there's still there's a lot of people on the outskirts too that just want to dance because it's just so cramped and crowded in there. Right. You just really can't if you really want to dance and move around. It's just you're just gonna be bumping into people, and it's just not as fun. So a lot of people on the outskirts are just the crazy ones. <laughs> they really yeah. want to move, like me. We were just hanging out on the outskirts, but yeah, I was just like by the end of it, I'm just like I can barely move, but it's just like the music's so good, I yeah. can't not not move. So I gotta keep going. Yeah. I'm just in slow mo. Yeah, my body is tired. I didn't get that much sleep the night before. You know, it was just like really redlining it both nights. Just like really, really going hard. But I had so much goddamn fun, and just like I said, it just filled me, filled me back up with just, uh, you know, just filled me up with happiness. Just it was so much fun. Had such a good time, and just. The vibes there were so goddamn good. Like, just everyone was, I felt like everyone was just on point. There was only one time where I saw, and, you know, they are serving alcohol, so I'm assuming not everyone's there, you know, partaking in party drugs and doing all that stuff. They're doing other things, probably just drinking or smoking weed or whatever. This is one dude just, obviously there was one guy who was rolling, having a good old time. And I guess he probably bumped into this other dude who was drinking, and his friends had to hold the drinking guy back. And this guy's rolling over here, and he's just like looking at him. He's like, I'm gonna fucking kick his ass. And just, you know, just like Jeez. really getting aggro. And you're right. just like, I wanted to walk over. I'm like, I'm just gonna stay out of this. Yeah. It, you know, I wanted to be like, hey, dude, just, it's, it's all good, man. Like, he's yeah. probably just out of it. He bumped into you. It's no, it's no worries. Or if he bumped into your girl or whatever, he's just, just doing his thing. You know, right, he's right, not right. doing it maliciously, but I'm like, ah. If it gets too crazy, uh, yeah, I, I'll, I'll jump in. But yeah, yeah, I, don't know yeah. That was like the only time. There's like one brief instance where I'm like, "Ah, oh, this is this dude doesn't get it. Yeah, <laughs> he exactly. is not quite with it yet." Yeah, but yeah, man. I definitely recommend it though. Like, yeah. it, Beyond Wonderland is an amazing event, and I want to try out like these other ones too, like Countdown and Escape and stuff like that. I mean, San Bernardino it's so close. It's two hour drives. Really not that bad. Mm-hmm. If you get up there early, really, really not that bad. And, and I'm sure if you get a good hotel, you know, or something like that, it's, you yeah. know, ahead of time before a big event, it's probably not, not too bad. No, probably not. Yeah. Um, so you, did you, uh, you left after Flosser Domus? Yes. Uh-huh. Yeah. So he, he closed it out. Flosser Domus uh, at the Mad Hatter stage. Yep. Yep. That was it. And then. So we just uh, we are everyone's just walking out slowly walking out and then at this point it was just nice to just kind of check out you know just the one last time just kind of get the the scenery and all the Alice in Wonderland theme stuff and just the lights and all the trees are lit up and they've got this big thing in the middle that's just spouting out flames and stuff and that was cool just to watch for a little bit and just to hang out and just uh M- mosey on out. Yeah. 
So yeah, I get uh, get back to the van, and Ashley, I decide, you know what? I'm gonna let the traffic clear out, and I'm just gonna drive back to San Diego because oh, yeah. I'm like, I'm not gonna be able to get to sleep, and right. I didn't sleep that well the night before, you know. Right. So I'm like, I'll just get back to San Diego, and I, it was only a couple hour drive, so I get back to San Diego. Maybe it's like four or five. No, it was, yeah, it must have been like five in the morning. Uh-huh. Get to like uh, one of my usual spots where I park at night, and just like I'm just gonna pass out here and be nice. comfortable, and yeah. yeah, that was it. And t- fucking took off my shoes, iced them up a little bit, uh-huh. and just kind of like passed out, and Jeez. just uh, Finally pa- sleep. yeah, exactly, <laughs> yeah, exactly. I would have done the same thing. Yeah, Probably just been like, come yeah. up. Uh, yeah, I knew I wasn't gonna sleep. Anyways, yeah. I'd just be sitting there or li- trying to lie in bed, trying to fall asleep. Anyways, yeah. So I'm like, fuck, I'm, I'm still gone. Like, I'm still feel good. I'm, I'm, my body is physically tired, but my brain is up. Right. right. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. Yeah. So then what, was, what happened with your feet? Yeah, so my feet, you know, so uh, so this is two nights, and both nights were both about 34,000. So, like, I, I didn't take it easy like I planned on. Like, right, I right. just, like, uh, I, the pain wasn't really there during that second night. It wasn't until... It all, you know, it all comes crashing down the next couple of days after that. Mm. So, yeah, I just, for the next couple of days after that, could not put my shoes on. Uh. Completely painful. I'm like, uh, my toenail is probably going to fall off. And eventually I'm like, shit, I, I've actually got to go to a doctor. I think this right. is pretty fucking serious. So I go to, the, go to the, it's not a free clinic. It's just a clinic. It's just, you know, you pay whatever you owe the doctor type of thing. Uh-huh. So go down, go to this clinic. He's like, oh, yeah, shit, yeah, I've, this is usually, like, people that do a lot of hiking or, or running, and they're, like, breaking in their boots or their shoes. This, is, like, happens to them a lot type of thing. And then uh, he thought it was funny that I got it from – I didn't say I was doing on ecstasy or anything yeah, like yeah. that. I'm like, yeah, I was just dancing. I was just at a music festival. Uh, uh, wore the wrong shoes. Uh, and I think because the second night I was wearing my Vans, it wasn't, it wasn't like, constrictive, oh, yeah. much better shoes, and I wrapped my toes up and, like – cotton balls so they're all like protected or, and things yeah. like that so Smart. yeah exactly so yeah he he basically had to drain them so underneath my toenail just filled up with all this blood and whatever fills up yeah you know it was just basically yeah pus and that wasn't pus it was oh. like more of a clear weird substance yeah, yeah it wasn't yeah it wasn't yeah. like a uh, infected pus or anything right. like that um so yeah he just drains it all out it was weird to weird to feel it you just numbed it up a little bit like a little uh gel or whatever you put on it and just pricked it and just like sucked it out and Weird. yeah and just like all this bloody grossness just comes out and it felt so much better after yeah. he drained it because it was it was pressure it was putting right. so much pressure and that was the pain right. it, uh, it was just In the uh, yeah mm-hmm. and then so yeah i drained both of them and then he's like, you might lose your toenail on my left one. I still haven't lost it, so I don't know. It's still it's still on there. Uh-huh. And then I lost on a, on my right foot, not like the not the big toe, but the toe next to it. I lost the the toenail off of that. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> but so yeah, it was my my left one was the worst, and then my right one it was still pretty bad, and that that one got drained as well. Uh-huh. <sighs> it was just That's like crazy. I couldn't believe it. Like after like. But I still was riding a good high just from the, the two days of just, like, having such a good time, good right. in- interactions with people, and just, just getting back in that, that, that really that, that EDM festival atmosphere was just, like, such a, a welcomed environment for me. It was yeah. so much fun. So good. Yeah. Even with all the pain and everything. You know, to me, that's a lesson learned. Like, now I know. Like, yeah, dude, totally. if you're going to be fucking doing this shit, you got to – you gotta really prepare your fucking feet and your body yeah. and your mind and everything. And it, you know what? I never really felt um, like a weird, like depressed come down oh, or anything really? like that. I I felt really good. Like, like I said, I just felt like my heart was filled back up with love. Like, you know, like like the Grinch. You know, right, right, right. <laughs> the, <laughs> yeah. the the heart is like good to go. That's awesome. But yeah, it did. Uh, it did bum me out that it was like kind of took me out of action. Like, I missed out some money making opportunities because oh, my really? fucking feet and I kind of hurting up for money. So it kind of, yeah. kind of a shitty thing. But you know, whatever. Uh, you yeah. know, there'll be other opportunities. And now I can fucking walk, and now I can put shoes on. So I'm good to go now. So right. I, I feel much better. And now I'm like, 
EDC is less than 50 days away. So now I'm like, all right, I'm really going to start prepping, preparing, getting yeah. ready, getting focused, you yeah, know, get, getting get my brain ready to go and just um, – I feel like my diet's uh, in a good place right now, so I feel like I'm I got a good healthy diet going. I just got yeah yeah back into healthy eating too. The Perfect last yeah. Weeks. Yeah, dialing it in. Hell yeah, brother. But yeah, that's a good plan. Well, absolutely. Plan. I know. Yeah, yeah I I got to keep reminding. I'm like, dude, you're 33. Yeah. I know. I mean, it doesn't sound old, old, but you, yeah. it's you know the hangovers hangovers are different. You know, just yeah. your body just needs a little bit more time to. To uh, get back to uh, a base level, a good level. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Especially when you're messing with your brain chemistry and things like that. And uh, Yeah. Yeah, so you got to be careful. Especially, you know, because, uh, you know, two nights in a row, EDC's three nights in a row of having a good time. So it's just like yeah. I, I really, I really want to be as, as pumped and as ready on that third night as I am on the first yeah, night. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I know. I think about that, too. Like, I think think about what I'm going to do and how I'm going to do it type of thing. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, it'll work out, but I'm still trying to mentally plan for it. Absolutely. Well. Yeah. I think, dude, your, your, your cardio, My that bike, that bike okay. ride you did yesterday, <laughs> uh, holy shit. <laughs> What's crazy about that bike ride is that I was not sore today. Mm. One bit. Maybe it'll dude. come tomorrow. Right. I don't know. Yeah. But I rode 36 miles on my bike yesterday. <laughs> and, uh, Amazing. Yeah. Afterward, I felt amazing. I went home. I ate, I ate a shitload of pizza. I just gorged on pizza. Hell and yeah. Things. I took like a not even an hour nap, and then I got up and my girlfriend and I went to see Sense of Fell at the Observatory. Hell yeah, and yeah. I was like worried. I'm like, I, damn. I Am I gonna be too sore? So right. No, I couldn't have been in a better mood. Oh. I was like endorphins. I was like just joking around just like i was like i don't even know if i'll drink tonight i did three beers oh wasn't wow. even hung over though the next this morning i mean my body was just like so in tuned it was i had never i don't think i've ever experienced anything like that it was crazy damn and then i immediately started planning a new route for like the next weekend i could take another ride oh nice it was that successful i want to see some pictures yeah i want to see some some matt winnie trail pictures yeah, that'd be awesome good yeah. You did um, an anaconda. It was like a yeah. long anaconda did, to did, Coronado. Yeah, Coronado down the strand, halfway down the strand. Yeah. And there's like this beach there. It was totally vacant, a bunch of picnic tables and stuff. I was like, perfect. Stopped. Had a sandwich. I had two beers on me. Oh, yeah. I was like, I'm just going to chill here. I chilled there it's the for way like to do 25 it. 25 minutes. Hell yeah. And I turned around. There was a whole fucking thing back to downtown. Took a ferry across. I saw that. That yeah. was awesome. That was my plan. That's what I wanted. I was like, I want to take the ferry to Coronado. And right. Like, I'll just ride my bike. And I looked it up, and they're like, yeah, you can bring bikes on the ferry. Like, <gasps> Perfect. I've been doing it then. Hell yeah. It was crazy. Dude, that's sick. So, yeah, I'm feeling pretty confident about eating. Oh, yeah. My legs feel very strong. Definitely. So I can't recommend that enough. Out there on a bike or run or do something. I don't know. Oh yeah. Bikes at the gym. Oh no, yeah, that's what I do usually. I'll, oh, yeah. I'll, yeah, I'll do the bike, and then um, uh, I don't, I, I don't know what they call it. It's like this uh, step machine, oh, elliptical. elliptical. Yeah, that's yeah, what it yeah. is. I'll do the elliptical sometimes. On the bike, do you ever do the programs? Yes. Yeah, yeah, I'll do the program. Yeah. I used to do the hill climb program. Yeah. That's good. Oh yeah. Right oh um, yeah. Makes you sweat. Yes. Yeah, I like the bike because it's less uh, stress on your knees exactly. and things like that. Oh, yeah, exactly. yeah, but it's uh, you still get the cardio, still get the good workout, especially your legs, man. I want I want my legs to be like strong. I want them right. to be ready to go to be just walking and be on your feet for hours and hours. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Oh yeah. <sighs> right around the corner, man. I know it's yeah. so close. I can't wait, dude. Well, that was great. Thanks for recounting your. Story. I know, man. I, I, I wish we. I it. wish you. I almost wish we had recapped it earlier because i had so many more like little details i wanted to add but you know there's just so much involved with those you know these past these two days and you know i try to fit in as much as possible but i had such a good time i got to see a bunch of new artists and a bunch of old artists that i wanted to see so i can't recommend it even i i, I know a lot of people kind of have this thing like you got to see like your favorites or whatever like just check out some new people because they're yeah. you're going to be so surprised like 
Oh, that's you, great. You really, like, reinforced me. Like, I'm that much looking forward to, like, Quantum Valley. And stuff. Uh, absolutely, like, dude. And, yeah. Listening yeah. to it a little bit, but it's just like, no, I really want to go in there with intention of, like, all right, let, let's be here. Let's be present and check this shit out. Absolutely. I feel like I won't be let down. You know, yeah, you know? definitely. Yeah. That's awesome. Well, yeah, man, let's uh, let's definitely do it. Um, so do you want to do some recommendations? We'll cap this biatch off. Uh, I don't do you have any recs? I don't really have any. Yeah. All right, cool. Well, I've, I've got one recommendation really good on um, Amazon Prime. It's a show called Britannia. Britannia. And um, so if you ever watch The Walking Dead, uh, you will definitely know the character, the governor. And um, he is one of the main characters in Britannia. So he plays a Roman general. And basically, just there's a lot of uh, uh, great acting. Um, uh, really just good storyline. Re- uh, very well written. And just a great all-around show. It, it's going back to you know medieval times, Romans, you know, trying to conquer the world and uh, trying to uh, spread their uh, the Roman ways. And they're dealing with Britain, which is at this time very uh, uh, druids and mystical and like magic. And, but it's not really magic. Like it's just uh, but there is a magical to it, but it's not like what you would normally think, I guess, of magic or whatever. More just spiritual magic, I guess, than gods and goddesses and all kinds of cool stuff. It's a very good show, and I think there's only nine episodes, so it's really not that bad. But yeah, definitely recommend that. And then, um... Uh, yeah, I guess that's it. Yeah, any DJ. Yeah, man, I recommend Mercer. Like, he just really blew me away. Like, I don't know, maybe just because I was peaking or just having a really good role at the time or just like in a really good mood but he was just laying out like a great set like i would definitely recommend him and he's someone that you know i just didn't didn't even think about right so yeah check him out please yeah buddy all right man on the next one so yeah uh, i and in the future we're gonna have i want to call it the fam bam chronicle so i want to get marco on i want to get katie on i want to get bill back on i want to get kylan back on to talk about edc and their experiences and leading up to it and because marco this will be like his eighth or ninth edc or something crazy like that and katie's been to a shit ton so like i want to get more like uh marco's point of view on the type of music he likes like he, he's posted up at at uh, <laughs> Neon Gardens basically for three days straight so it's like I want to know why he's posted up there you know like right. what makes him spend almost $400 to spend three days at, at <laughs> one uh, stage like right, you know right. I want to know why I, I, I have an idea but I want to get his point of view and of course Katie's been a bunch of times and then we got to get Bill back on because he's expanded on you know we've gone to a bunch of different little shows since EDC you know so I want to get his point of view again so We'll do a nice chronicling, especially leading up to EDC. We got less than 50 days, so it'll be nice. We'll we'll sneak those those podcasts in. Hopefully, when we're in Vegas too, we'll. I mean, I'll haul, I'll have all my equipment, so yeah. so we can maybe do a, a co- podcast while we're there. On the lazy river. On the lazy river, exactly, <laughs> man. Oh, it's gonna be a vacation and and just a fucking amazing time at dancing and having a sweet time, dude. And I'll be in Austin next week. Oh, that's right. Yes, we're gonna have we're gonna have some stories from from old Austin. Oh, dude, I can't wait. Hell yeah! All right, everybody. Bye, bye, bye. <laughs>
Oh. <laughs>